as I said, whoops, as I said, we got a hog farm here. We pack those hogs in. They're swapping bacteria. We throw into the mix daily antibiotics. Not such a good recipe. Well, it's a really good recipe if what you want is resistant superbugs, but not such a good recipe for us. Um, but what's this? This is a hog farm with several barns that's been overwhelmed by Hurricane Florence, which was what, September? And this isn't the first time this has happened. Uh, this also happened with Hurricane Floyd in 1999. Why does it keep happening? Because the eastern half of North Carolina is very flat and it's surrounded by rivers, and that's exactly where all of these farms have been placed. Uh, to a great degree, because it's a pretty poor area and there's a lot of uh, historically uh, minority communities there, and that's where the companies are placing these farms. And so when the flooding happens, all the people in those communities are getting exposed to resistant bacteria. All the people downstream, and then it's saturating the soils. This right here is a cattle feed lot, same thing. Huge amounts of manure created. It's gotta go somewhere. So what do we do with manure from, from an animal farm? We put it back on fields. So all those resistant bacteria go back on fields. What do we do with the sludge? That's When they drain the water out of these wastewater treatment facilities, what do we do with the sewage sludge? We put it back on fields. They've renamed it biosolids and sell it as a fertilizer. But their, whatever treatment they do here, we know that it doesn't kill, uh, it doesn't destroy antibiotics, and it doesn't even destroy all of the antibiotic-resistant bacteria. So we've created these models where we're spreading the resistance. All right, so hitting into the home stretch here. We're at like, Episode four on Netflix, the crisis has hit. We've got to reach resolution, okay? Or try at least. So what can we do? Well, I suppose if you wanted to focus on super bugs on meat, you could just zap the meat. You could um, irradiate the meat if you wanted. It doesn't really get rid of the problem though because you still have antibiotics in all these other places. So we're not gonna do that, I hope. Um, you could just treat the manure and do like state-of-the-art treatment like they do in Europe. They have much better treatment of manure, like human manure, animal manure than we do. We could do that and that would certainly help. But again, if you're still feeding the antibiotics in at this end and at this end, it's gonna come out that end, right? So that's kind of not a great solution either. So here's like, if you're gonna take one thing away from this talk, this is what you ought to take. That's what we need to do. Maybe not take them away completely, but we should be reducing antibiotics wherever and whenever we can. We're not, we don't want to do that for sick people, but that half of use in clinics that's unnecessary, you got to figure out how to stop that stuff. And, you, and probably even more, like 60, 70% on farms, completely unnecessary. We know how to stop that, we just haven't done it. But if we do that, we take away the selection pressure. What does Darwin say? You take away the selection pressure, there's no longer a reason for bacteria to become resistant. There's no longer a reason for them to stay resistant. So you actually have some hope for restoring some of that healthy gut flora, restoring that healthy microbiota by taking the antibiotics away, and hopefully having a healthier food supply too. So again, this is not news. In 1976, again, Stuart Levy, this microbiologist, wrote in the New England Journal of Medicine, we know what to do. This increase in antibiotic resistance, it's coming from using antibiotics. So let's reduce our use, and we gotta reduce it everywhere. 
2013, what did the CDC 2013, what did the CDC say? They said much of the use in animals unnecessary, inappropriate, and it's making all of us less safe. And you know, I hope I've laid out a case where you can agree with that because I certainly do. Thank you.